Can I get for you? Just tell me. Come on, tell me what. Ice cream and popcorn. Ice cream and popcorn. Yes. One time. I'll go get it. <laughs> Take your time. So you want ice cream and popcorn? You want some? Good can, I, can I have two uh, cups of ice cream and two packs of popcorn? Okay, what flavor, sir? Chocolate and vanilla. Okay, the right, sir. A black barrier conveys some group of prisoners from Apaka prisons, Onisha. So, Ogui High Court, Enugu, was intercepted by a gang of hoodlums. Who's in a crossfire with the police is one of the most dangerous criminals that have traveled the states for a while now. Mr. Alfred Olisa, known in the underworld as Gentle Devil. And so many other prisoners lost their lives in the gun duel. The gang succeeded in making a way with their leader, Mr. Abraham Nobudu, popularly known as Bishop. Club. Hello, sir. Sam, 
How are you? I'm fine, sir. So I'm, I'm so surprised to receive your call at, at this time. Yes, um, uh, there is an emergency. I need your attention at the station immediately. No, but sir, 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 I, I, I'm, I'm, out, I'm out on vacation with my family. I'm very far away from you, sir. No matter how far you are, try and make yourself available at the station immediately. I am not taking it. Sir. Oh, sorry. I've been standing here with your orders for a while. How much have you? Just 3,000. Okay. Hope everything is all right, sir. It's okay, it's okay. All right. understand it. This is my job.
all my moves. Every single effort to make sure he gets a fair trial, a fair judgment. Everything has been. Alfred, I fear for you. Your life is now in the hands of the judge. But I want you to listen to me. You have been there for us and all we have done is cry. But I promise you this time, I won't cry. Alfred, look into my eyes. Look into my eyes and draw strength from the same blood that runs through your veins. Draw courage from these words I'm about to say. Alfred, I will do anything, anything to put you through this. Oh, Alfred. I can't believe Alfred is God kicks me. What are we going to tell Mama? How are we going to tell Mama that her son was shot dead? That Alfred was a criminal? Do we start to explain? This is not okay. It cannot be okay. Where are we going to start from? This is. Oh my God. is just two days old. You led the team that captured the bishop before. And there's no doubt in my mind that if anybody is going to recapture him, that man is you. <sighs> sir, can I ask a question, sir? No. Please, sir, just one question, sir. Bad news. <sighs> this is a very bad news. Abraham being on the loose is like freeing a million tigers. We made a mistake not ending his life when we had the opportunity. You must correct that mistake now. I made him who he is. He calls himself Bishop. I made him Bishop. I will destroy him. Let us pray for our brothers. Jimmy, Stallion, Ben, and my very good friend, Alfred. And the souls of the faithful departed rest in perfect peace.
Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. That is the word of the Lord for us today. That God has pardoned every one of them. Boss, what are we doing here? You know, it's almost um, some minutes past my lunch time. 
And I told you I discovered this place. If you see there, pounded yam and then salad soup, boss, eh, you could like them. I'm here to pray. You are here to pray? And I want you to be observant, very vigilant while I'm observing my prayers. Yes, yes, I saw him. He followed through this way.
Boz, we need to watch him. I believe he's up to something. But I know very soon, very, very soon, his end will come. Bishop acts like a ghost. <laughs> so funny. I know tracking him has never been easy. Yeah. Waiting for his sleep from this man is going to take ages. I don't think so, boss. We saw him today. And I'm very, very sure this will happen again. Listen, I have dealt with criminals like this. He's going to come in. He's going to come in. See, very soon, very, very soon, luck will run out on him. And that will mark his end. And when he goes in this time, he will never come out. Want a drink? I don't need a drink. I need food. I need pounded yam and correct masala soup. The police must not get at him before us. I want him dead, not back to the prison. No problem, sir. You see, as we speak, Cliff and Steve are searching for him everywhere. I believe in no time they will return with the good news. Trust me. Time is what I don't have. We cannot pretend to be unaware of the danger that awaits us as long as he remains loose on the street. Abraham is far more experienced than the boys you sent after him. I want you to personally handle this assignment. Bring his existence to an utter end. Consider it done, God. I'm afraid there's nothing anybody or myself can do about this. The late brother's cult officially belongs to the government. You should know better. Okay, sir. I know all of this, but can't we work something out? See, I have to tell my mom about the demise of her son, and for me to do that, I need Alfred's corpse in the mortuary. She would definitely ask me about that. The elders in the village will ask me about that. Please. You have to tell them the truth about him. That's all. That he was an armed robber. So you don't understand this. My mom will not survive this. That is why I'm here. That is why I am trying to work something out. Please, I will pay at any cost. I am begging you, please. You know what you're asking to do is difficult. In fact, it's impossible. You as a lawyer should know the legal implications of all this. Your big brother's girl, just like every other body, be covered from that uh, shootout. It's red hot right now. I cannot be touched. And the case in question is sensitive, very, very sensitive. The case being I just escaped from police custody, and it's at last. Truly, there's nothing I can do. Never forget, we're going after all of them. 
they are all not worthy to live. Why do we have to go after these people? We don't know them. They have not wronged us in any way, neither have they crossed our path. You sound like an unbeliever. Let me tell you. In Matthew 25, 42 to 46. <clears throat> you listen. For it is written. When I hungered, you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you took me not in. When I was naked, ye clothed me not. Sick and I was sick and in prison, and ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then he shall answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it. Not to me. And these shall go away in the everlasting punishment. But the righteous into life eternal. They must not do it to us for it to affect us. Your Lordship, something has been bothering me. Douglas King, right? Yes, Your Lordship. You definitely won't go to sleep knowing fully well that you're out and free. I think he should be our priority. Well, Douglas King is the least of my worries right now. When I'm ready for him, him and all his followers of iniquity will face my wrath of judgment. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. 
mission accomplished. Good. That photograph there is a man, Mr. Or rather, Chief Batuku Polisa. He's a wanted man. Behind the car, there's some information there. I want you to look into it and bring me those information. Cry aloud to spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. to know about Alfred, about us. Maybe one of his friends. Or probably a surviving member of his gang. Kingsley, Alfred is dead and gone. Who would spring up from nowhere and decide to start killing people all in the name of avenging his death? I think it's time. We just go and tell Mama about his death. Without his corpse? So we walk up to Mama and we tell her that Alfred was shot by the police because he's an armed robber, just like. Chiso, how long are we going to keep this truth away from her? How long? Okay, what if she hears it from someone else? Kingsley, I am trying so hard, so hard to get his corpse from the police. Invest that your time and your energy into something else. Chiso, you and I know that the police can never release his corpse to you or anybody. Father Lord, we thank you for the forgiveness of saints, for your mercies and for your love that endure it forever. Amen. We glorify you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we ask for protection and guardians especially for our two sons who are in Germany. Yes, Lord. And for Laurel, our daughter, who is doing her master's in London. Yes, Lord. Father, Lord, we pray that you keep them safe Amen. and in good health Amen. through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And amen. I never knew you could pray to God. Anyway, it is written in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14 that even Satan himself disguises as an angel of light. Sorry, who are you and what are you doing in my house? The Almighty God has angels. Messengers. You could call me an unknown angel. I have come with the gospel of the kingdom of God. says that whatsoever a man saw it, he repent. The 
The scripture says that the works of our hands shall be brought before us in judgment.
I was killed by the poor the police. You, you killed him. Hey! He turned into what you made him. No, it was not my fault. I, I don't know who you are or what he told you, but... I did not kill him! You want to know who I am? I am a crusader. I bring redemption to the oppressed and I visit the unjust with judgment. Your head no correct at all. 
you still a Chris. You haven't repented, though. You haven't changed. So now you think because I gave you a gun, you want to kill me? Like you wasted your own nephew. Do you think I'm a fool as I am a bishop to carry a loaded revolver and hand it over to you? Hmm? Okay. Shall see. Time to meet with your creator. Pick that gun and end it. Else you leave me with no option. Time to start with your beautiful wife. What do we look of all this? Well, well, it's obvious it's Bishop. I knew it's not going to take long, it strikes again, but I wasn't expecting anything around here. You know what? I thought it was going to go for uh, the glass king, but I was wrong. It's How crazy. sure are you? Ah, it's obvious. Now, this is his method of killing. No killer has been able to match his stupid ways of killing. Mm. Honestly, this is crazy. Uh, what about his wife? Has she said anything? She is shattered. In her state right now, I don't think we can get any information from her. She okay. can't even talk. You know what, are you? Look out for fingerprints, why? Check what they Galicia's six to seven. What is this trying to say? Whatever a man soweth, that he shall reap. You know, it's just like food. If you cook good food, you eat good food. Detective Ann, you cook, right? about your uncle. I don't know what to say. He was never good to us, but it's not like we ever wished him dead. Daily. 
And always take your drugs as prescribed. Oh, I will, doctor. I will. And one more thing, anytime you feel strange, don't hesitate to call me. I will definitely drive down to treat you at home. I will. Okay. I will. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, madam. Do you know the bo girl? We don't live for this my compound. Why you no? Know? Agnes. Hey! Mm -hmm. Agnes head too strong. She know the hear word. Her head know the house. Now the only robo girl. Why you no? Know? We live for my compound. Okay, um so Mama. You fit um tell us where we go find this Agnes. Uh, Why would they look for herself? No problem, oh. no problem at all. Oh. It just be say if this Agnes where you talk so, we be robo girl, we been don't leave for this compound that the Agnes who they find, then be say master don't don't be that now. Eh, because he get one rich man, we get money well well. He dey for his account. He talk say him that this Agnes we be robo woman, we live for this compound, now your mama be that. Now like this Agnes, eh? Say that she abandoned her many, 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 many years ago. Hey, hey, so, hey, God, they do your own thing the way we want to move. Hey, I tell Agnes when you get that belly, may you know, come out the belly. Agnes, no here. Go abandon the picking. You see him? The picking come the low for him now. Um, Mama, um, what thing happened to the pregnancy? Hmm, my picking. The story will be here. Hey, Bele, we don't be. Bele, why I see? We don't write very well. Before you know it, my children, I will go see Bele. I go ask Agnes. Where hey, Bele we don't connect? Where people don't they see? Where is they? Hmm. You tell me, say, picking die. Hmm. I know you too. Hey. I know say that Bele. That Bele. Hmm. You picking there. I don't know the me. Maybe you throw the picking. Oh, you go sell them. Sell them now. Hey! Picking. When you don't abandon, come they look for them now. I tell you. Now hey. picking, they look for mama now. This word. Hey! Hey! Hey, mama. Thank God, say, now the Agnes, where will they find? Now you they talk. So, how will we carry Lukita? I don't know. Okay. Since you don't know why we brought you here, I will tell you. Two days ago, your husband was killed. And you are the only eyewitness to the murder. Now, I want you to tell me everything that happened that night. Everything. I mean all the details of what happened that night.
you were praying and he walked in and killed your husband without any cause. Yes. He was sent by someone who, who wanted to avenge the death of our friend and my husband. How are you sure he was sent by somebody? He, he, he came with our first picture. So, I, I, I suspect the person who sent him gave him the picture. Who is Alfred? Alfred was my husband's nephew. Why would your husband kill his brother's son? My husband did not kill him. The police did. Our friend was arrested for a robbery. And I was, he was being taken to court with other prisoners. Some armed men attacked them. And in the process, there was a crossfire. And our friend was killed. That's what we heard. Gentle devil, Alfred Ulisa. Yes, Alfred Ulisa. So tell me, who do you think sent the man that killed your husband? You must stay your welcome here. Please, please. Dr. Kingsley, please. Look after your mother. I will go and look after your mother and your sister. See, I am not joking with you. Just leave this place right now. Yeah. Why do you want you? Why do you want you? Why are you my sister? Leave me. Leave me. Leave me. Leave me. Just as it's written, so shall it be. Fear not.
humble. If you see humble, you go humble. They are no bad. They enter the local man, but they come to you so they enter. They crazy. Don't jump, bro. You had a choice. Don't tell me you didn't have any choice. The choice was there staring you at the face. Good and evil. You chose the evil path. And that evil path is here to haunt you. I beg my sons. Forgive me. Come raise your son. If your son were here, and had it gone to your head, he would pull the trigger. I must have really seen that dad. I could have been to me. That boy you dumped in the bush turned into a monster. Anybody who wants to marry many side, no credits. <laughs> Because of you, a life is wasted. Revelations 22, 11 and 12. I don't even 
You know I can not go to school. Hey, guys, prepare this woman for her reward. Mother, we are Your mother is too dumb, dumb, Your mother is Sir, I found this. This must be Mrs. Wacho. This is Mrs. Wachoku's girl. Yeah. Well, this must be a kidnap. We asked her not to go anywhere. That is women for you. You people never heed your instructions. I don't know why. I told this woman not to leave the house. Um, do you think it's him? No, this must be someone else. This is not him. This is not his style. And who might that be? Well, that's what we should be doing. I'm backing up right now. You know what? Such a rule for more Okay? Alright? Right. Hello? Hello, boss. Looks like our man has struck again. What happens? And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be.
where is Bishop? I don't know who plan all this. Whatever they told you about me is wrong. I don't know any Abraham Monk. You sent him to avenge your brother's death on Chief Gabriel Mwachuku Olisa, your uncle. Yes, you are seated here, claiming you don't know him. Honestly, I don't know him. How would I send someone to avenge my brother's death on my uncle? Knowing fully where he was killed by the police for armed robbery. Honestly, my uncle has no heart in his death. So, if you did not send him, who did? I wonder what he's got to do with the local woman that runs a beer parlor in the ghetto. Now this is exactly what I'm thinking about. I, I just hope someone else is not doing all of these killings and hiding under his shadow because this is really not going to be fun for us. This man never kills the poor, the less privileged or the low class. He's a known assassin across the continent and beyond. But I tell you, He's getting close to his water though. Very soon. Change. Change is the only thing constant in life. You know, folks. When I was growing up, I hated something very, very much. Costard. But right now, boss, I tell you, Costard is one of my favorites. I'm telling you, I changed. So I believe maybe he has changed the way I changed. I guess I'm going to prescribe a camera or good for you. Please. We don't even know how many people they are hunting for right now. This whole puzzle is getting thicker.
agreed talking to some men who came in search of the whereabouts of the deceased, claiming a son she dumped so many years ago was searching for her. Who could that be? Well, uh, I wouldn't know. I'm still searching. Did you come up with anything? Um, nothing has any significant, sir. So, I don't know, I was thinking. Who are you and what are you doing in my office? Young man, I said, who are you and what are you doing in my office? of that school, I presume. So what really happened? Like, can you remember anything? I fell this course. And I've been cleaning with him for months. Take a second look at my paper.
leaders of tomorrow. Who are you and why do you veg into my office without knocking? And who said I did not knock? Well, you're busy with your own holy act. Fisting away on that young, innocent, poor girl. How can you bust into my office and forget this rubbish? You know who you are talking to? Yes. I know who you are. Professor. Appreciation. 
And do you think you can justify yourself with that statement? You are the beast that you are, you know. Preventing youngsters from being important citizens of this nation. But I see you take pleasure destroying young stars. Hmm? Well. Here's the Bible there for you, sir. I want you to open it. Let's read together. What kind of a silly joke is this? Do I look like a schoolboy? I think I better call the security immediately. I don't have the foggiest idea of what you're talking about. I don't want to force the truth out of your mouth. Let's do this whole thing calmly and gently. All we want is for you to tell me what I need to hear. And you will continue with your day's activities. And I will go my own way. I ask you once again. I don't know any bishop. Maybe she does not know him by that name. Let me make this simple out for you. Where is the guy you begged 
to avenge the death of your brother or your uncle, Gabriel Mwakiku Polisa. I have nothing to do with my uncle's death. Alfred asked for his financial help. Okay. He couldn't render it. It is his hard earned money for crying out loud. I do not have anything against him. Even before his death. And the letter. What letter? <laughs> you came back from work on a particular day with a letter which you claimed was written by Alfred. It stated he was going to kill all the people that destroyed his destiny. The same night your uncle was killed. Who gave you that note? And who told you that? Speak the truth. Answer my question. Who gave you that note? Why did you lie to him that you never sold any of his records or CDs? Why? Meanwhile, you sold them and you ate the money. You wasted the guy's life. Huh? You sent him into the streets and he became an armed robber. <laughs> That guy would have been the most celebrated musician, maybe even more popular than all these other musicians here named Mbatuka Ekuke. Look at that. Bloody ritualist. I'm not. I'm not a ritualist. No. Okay. Be good. I'll pay double. In fact, I'll pay everything. 
Just show me this place. Ah, uh, good. Very good. You now I can see that now that you have repented and uh, you want to pay back. But he will not come to you. You will go to him and make that payment. No problem, sir. Just show me where he is. I'll go. I'm sorry, man. I'm not going to tell you where he is. The only thing I can do for you right now is to send you there. I'll send you where he is. He lose your bath for a while, your wife for a year. Why it is to here? But we may as well say those are nothing. When you get there, you pay what you owe. She claimed she does not know who dropped the letter in her car. Do you believe her? Look, it seems you are underestimating that girl. She could be the one that sent the bishop to kill Wachuku. I don't think she did, boss. A university lecturer and a local woman that runs the bear parlor in the ghetto. We are both killed the same way. Chief Matuku was killed, supposedly by Bishop. Mm. A local lady that runs a beer parlor. Mm. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I don't think Bishop can do anything like that. <sighs> Boss, mm. you know you can always trust my investigations. Bishop, I know, does not strike at the low class or poor. I would never kill an innocent man. Never would I do that. 
Let me believe. You are joking. I paid you to kill that man. And besides, no man is innocent as long as I, <laughs> Sir Douglas Kings, <gasps> finds him guilty. Well, I tell you, no man is a judged guilty as long as I say he's innocent. And I will never soil my hands with the innocent blood, Douglas. <laughs> but your hands are already soiled with so much blood. You've been an assassin from bed. So what's the bullshit of not finding a man on my death list guilty? Your death list, Douglas. Yours, not mine. Remember, I paid you handsomely for this hit. You must deliver. Here's your money. There's no deal. Hey, get him! What the hell? Hey, 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 hold it, hold it! No one owns me, Douglas. I'm a crusader. Get it? Only God. Only God. There is more to this than we think. Uh, Hawk? Yes, boss. You have to dig more. Dig in more. Until the wolf is found. Remember, my life, your life, is on the line as long as he lives. That's enough. Very proud of this family, you know. And together, we must make the workers of darkness pay for all their evil deeds on society. We will take the message of retribution to them, sweeping through the jungle. Your Lordship, the Bishop, I would like to cry out on the things that have been eating me up so I will not perish in silence. With due respect, Your Lordship, I would like to emphasize that this mission has not brought a dime on our table. Kobo, Af. What is how is nothing? Sir, your lordship, please. I've been cogitating. And I think it is high time we call this struggle off. I'm planning to do something reasonable 
that is going to swell our bank accounts. Mm. What could be more reasonable than making the evil ones pay for their evil deeds? Hey, I run this gang. Remember, I have continuously told you and everyone around me that money is not everything. Bishop, with all due respect, I think we should consider... Enough! I will tell you when this movement shall be over.
once he gets out, follow him. Madam, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good day. Yes, sir. Ah, please, let's go inside. Oh, sweet. Hello? Okay, yeah. I'll be there right away. Yeah, I'll be there. Oh, sorry, madam, there's an emergency. I'll get back to you, okay? Questions. Questions with no possible answer. This guy seems to be operating like a ghost. This is stupid. He's very stupid. Why is he busy killing people he knows? He, he cannot think like good food. Like people are busy planning on the type of food they will eat just to maintain the balanced diet. Be quiet. Let's be serious about what I'm doing. Talking about an important issue here, talking about food. It's okay, man. It's okay. I don't know how you feel, okay? Don't worry. Justice will be served very soon. We are now at Jelita Street. After the Puma Night Post Plaza, ends up on your right side. It's like something bad happened there. Okay. But you have to be cautious, okay? No, he's very intelligent. So just be careful. Afro TV, enjoy various genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sui, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Afro Dubbing Services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo. Wolof, Zulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa, with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily, we help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.